So drawing and painting primroses. What I've got is a circle and then I've crossed over that circle to find the center. Then I've done an ellipse because I want one going sideways and then I've crossed over to find the center of that ellipse. What I'm going to do is come around and they're like the petals are like a heart shape. So pop them in. That's one, two, three, four, and then you see a little bit of one overlapping at the back. I'll just pop those few in and do the same on this one at the side. Just following to the ellipse. The heart shapes. And then just pop one or two in at the back. Like that. Okay. So I've got three colours on my palette. Yellow, red and a dark green. going to wet the paper but I'm going to avoid the centre of the flowers, I want to leave that dry. So a big brush, dabbing into water and into the neat yellow paint. I'm just going to let that flow on the paper. You can come lower. Brush a little bit of a rinse and dab into some of the green. So this is an intense green, so it's a pathalo green. It's nice and bright. I'm just gonna come round a little bit. I don't mind if it spreads a little bit into the flower. This is just to create some colour for the the leaves. A little bit up here as well. A little bit of an indication that there's some leaves. background. If some of the green spreads onto the yellow flowers it's just going to give a little soft shadow. So that's going to work quite nicely at this stage. I'm going to dab into the green and then dab into the red. That's going to make a little bit of a brown. I'm just going to pop a little bit in. start to shape some of these primrose leaves. It gives a little bit of shadow, so still using those three colours, dab into the green, dab into the red, and you get a brown. Then I've got some normal salt. So table salt, sprinkled into my hand. And I'm going to take this and very carefully sprinkle it onto these front leaves. So what this is going to do is pull out some of the paint and leave a little bit of a texture 
which is going to work really nicely as the primrose leaves. Then with my normal number six, so I've rinsed it, I've just taken a little bit of the water off, don't want too much on there, just rubbed it off with my, with my fingers. I'm going to dab into the yellow again and then just come round start to create that lovely colour in the centre places this is still wet so it is spreading a little bit and I'd quite like that to happen. I'm going to dab a little bit into the red and a little bit into the yellow so I've got more of an orange and then I'm just going to come round a little circle that we've left that's dry in the centre. With a clean, damp brush, I'm just going to pull some of this colour along each of the petals. Mainly the centre ones. Okay, I'm going to dry that off. It's all dry and you can see that the salt's created a really nice texture on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dab my number six brush into my green and into my red so I get that nice brown colour and then I'm going to come in and work my way around the edge one of these flowers. So I'm loading the brush with water. I'm loading it with paint as well. So there's a little bit of the red going in. I want to vary the colour, a little bit more of that brown. A little bit more of the green. So I'm just dabbing a little bit more into the green now. Following my pencil lines coming all the way around. So let's start to define that flower again. Then with my round number 10, you could use a wash brush as well, I'm just going to soften that colour in. So I'm wetting further than it needs to go and it's spreading, creating really nice edges. And then the beauty of this now is that green from before has created a really nice soft shadow on there. So I'm going to continue round. So I'm dabbing into a little bit more of the green. Keep variety. So I don't want this line to all be the same colour. A little bit of the red. A little bit of the brown. And then again, a big wet brush. And you're just going to touch the paint and let the colour flow. than it needs to go. So we've got some really nice soft shadows on those petals just by that first wash. I'm going to bring a little bit through of that, that brownie green through there. Then with my round number 10, dabbing back into the brown. I'm just going to 
help to define this edge here. This is going to start to bring out these leaf shapes and then on this side as well. So this is just a red and the green dabbed together and that's creating that brown colour. And we're actually painting the background to bring out the foreground which is called negative painting. So we're bringing out the leaves by painting the background of those leaves. I'm just going to soften that in a little bit, just a little bit of water. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the green here. Just dab in a couple more leaves. Could use a little bit of the yellow as well. It worked quite nicely. So if I dab into the yellow, just dab that in within the green. Take a little bit of the yellow onto these. Uh, this is quite a lot of water. And a, dab, a tiny dab of the yellow so that you've still got those colours shining through. You've got those transparent colours still shining through. Okay. With a very watery, greeny brown, you can then just start to pull in from the edge. Sometimes the, the paint's still wet and we'll, it will just pull in without you needing to actually pick up any paint on the brush. And you're just gonna, with a damp brush, just pull these forward towards that center. This is gonna define the edge of your petals. Give them that little bit of shadow as well. You don't want it to be too strong. Yellow is a really delicate colour. Do the same this side. Just picking up some of that central colour that is a ready brown and just moving it around to create these shadows. Pick up some more of the yellow. Bring some of that in on little petals just to bold the ones at the top out a little bit. Maybe on that one I'll do each of those. On this one I'm going to do the ones on the underside. So just take a little bit of yellow in. Then the front ones will be a bit lighter. And take a little bit of the red and the yellow together so you've got an orange. You can strengthen up a little bit in those centres. And then with a clean wet brush just pull it out. Soften that in. Thing you want to do is just come in with a little bit of the brown just close up to the flower just in places just so you give it a little shot of depth it doesn't have to be everywhere 
it just pops the flower out a little bit helps it really stand out a little bit more and this is just the brown and the green mixed together just spread that a little bit if it's stuck in places with a bit of water same just softening in